Okay guys, welcome back. So if you've watched the past couple videos, you know that we've been going over the seal by 3D Maker Pro. And so far it's been pretty disappointing. Um, but I have been in contact with the R&D team at 3D Maker Pro and they have shown me a setting to change in the JM Studio software. And that is what I'm gonna show you here today. So hopefully we can get something good out of this. And we're gonna look at some past scans that I've done and we're gonna do a new scan with a matte spray paint over it to see if we can get some better results. All right, let's dive in. Okay guys, so now we're on the computer and this email on the left is what 3D Maker Pro has most recently sent me and they show me a folder to go to, which it's not quite the same on my computer. If you look on the right, I have found that folder is actually in my C drive in program folders, program files. I had made a copy, uh, renamed it to original. So if something happens, I actually have the original. So this is the copy right here, but it's the original name. So that way the program knows to go to that one. And then I started messing with this file, which is the one you see down here. And I changed the resolution from the default 0.3. You can see right here, that's the default. And then the uh, new resolution is now 0.05. They didn't specify what resolution to put it at. So I just did advertised resolution. So anyway, so what appears to happen is that when you fuse your mesh, originally it was at the 0.3 resolution and now when you mesh it you fuse it together it is now the 0.05 resolution and this actually seemed to work and if you saw the short on youtube it does get some noisy results because it's all dependent on what scan you got so let's look at the jam studio software and see what we're actually going to be getting okay so now i got jam studio up and i have some scans that I've already done at different settings. So I've adjusted brightness, sensitivity, they've all been scanned in fine and with texture. But let's take a look at those scans and let's see what kind of detail we got. It's pretty normal to what we've been getting. Not great, very noisy. Um, so sensitivity five, sensitivity 10, they're basically identical. Um, let, let's see them without our texture and I colored them so that way we can tell a difference. So these are with the lowest, highest, and default sensitivity, and you can see they're about the same. That lower sensitivity, the sensitivity of two, is a bit less noisy, but it also captured a little less detail. But I think what is really interesting is if we go to the brightness, so this is sensitivity uh, five, the default sensitivity with just the brightness maxed out and dropped. And they look pretty much the same, so I, think brightness only affects texture. See, dark texture, light texture, and not the scan points itself. So you can see those noise patterns and the detail are pretty much identical. But when we go over to process them, we always have to reset this when it always defaults back. But when you process those point clouds, I always say remove noise, repair gaps, simplify to 2 million points, uh, I didn't texture map because that took about three times longer to texture map these boys. And we can see that the fused models, whoop, let's flip that over, actually have a lot more detail in it than it used to be. So that's that 0 0.05 setting that we changed now actually has a, you know, higher resolution mesh. It's still very noisy. There's still a lot to be desired here. This is not great but we can see what models these point clouds will actually generate. So this is with the sens sensitivity five one. Um, we can see the sensitivity 10 one. It's basically the same. And the sensitivity two one though turned out pretty much the same. It's still an unusable model. Looks maybe slightly cleaner, but this material that this model is made out of this resin, this resin, even though it's matte, is still more reflective. I think it's more of an eggshell or satin and it is probably what's giving all that noise. Noise, 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 noise. So guess what? I spray painted it with a matte spray paint and we're gonna do a test on that in just a little bit to see if that will actually give us a better scan. Okay, but first let's look at these last two with the brightness two and the brightness 10, all with the sensitivity five. And looks like brightness does actually play a part in how this model turns out. So you can see right here, this brightness 10, it is more noisy. Brightness two, it is less noisy. 
And look at that. <laughs> I'm guessing those are all noise reflections that this scanner has picked up. So brightness does have a part in it. So looks like the darker, the better. <laughs> this is basically a really dark model. So let's go back and look at the brightness two scan. Where'd you go? There you are. This is a pretty dark scan. The room was lighter than this, but this is what it picked up. So test results, more detail, more noise, still not a usable model. But let's scan this model that's been sprayed matte. Okay, so now we're in easy scan mode and I've got my scanner in hand and turntable going. So let's do a scan and I'll let it do a full rotation on the outside. And then when we get a good scan there, I'm going to move the scanner to the top. We're going to look down. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, that's nice full rotation. It's about a thousand frames, probably a little more than we need. But let's let it do its thing and see how that goes and see how that point cloud looks. You can't see it, but it says rebuilding. We've been here for a while. Yay, and we're done. Okay, so let's look at this cloud. It is still looking pretty noisy. So that does not fill me with confidence. Let me try again and see if we can get something that's less noisy because this is still pretty bleh. So since we know that low brightness actually kind of clears up some of the noise, that in low brightness of two and sensitivity didn't seem to do a whole lot. So we just left it at the default. Rebuilding, rebuilding. Now we wait for rebuilding. This takes forever. Or not. Oh, nope, yep, there goes. A whole nother pass. My coffee's empty. Yay! Let's check this out. Still pretty noisy, so... I think at this point we just gotta find materials that can scan or sprays that help it because this is still pretty noisy. Looks like there's more testing to do, but let's process this model and see how it comes out. Okay, first let's simplify this because this is a lot of detail. So let's say we just want stuff in that inner circle in the inner circle okay and then we are going to reverse the selection reverse the selection thank you we're gonna delete all that outer nonsense maybe i'm thinking okay good yeah we just want that so now let's process this and waiting some more let me scroll on my instagram i really should post to instagram i have an instagram I really should post there. It's still saving. This takes forever every time. Okay, I'm gonna stop the recording and meet you on the other side because this is this is ridiculous. And of course, as soon as I stop the recording, it asks me how I want to process this. Uh, as far as I can tell, the refinement does nothing. Well, I'll test it again with this more detailed model later. Uh, but for now, we're just gonna stick with the default. And now more waiting. So, bye again. Okay, we're back. And yes, I would like to reorient this axis. All right, apply, reorient, cool. All right, there's the model. How are we looking? I mean, stuff's there, but yep, it's still considered unusable because of all that noise. Noise, noise. Noise. Merry Christmas. <laughs> but I mean, it's better than it was, I guess. All right, let's do one more scan with brightness down, sensitivity all the way down because those seem to be the settings that give the least amount of noise. All right, so there's that scan. Let's let it rebuild for a sec and see how it looks. All right, so we got our point cloud now and let's see how it looks. Still pretty noisy. So looks like at this point, I'm gonna have to find out what type of coating to put on this model because it seems even matte spray paint isn't good enough. 
So I might have to buy their recommended spray or some sort of scanner spray. So that way we get less reflections and it might just come down to that. I really hope it is because that might be the only thing that we would need to make this scanner actually usable. Because if we can get it to work, it can get a lot of detail, but it's so noisy. So disappointing. Okay, well, go ahead and like and subscribe so that way my sanity stays intact and I hope you have a great Christmas season. I will try and get a video out before then so that way we can actually see if this is worth it or not. Finally, because this has been like a couple weeks in now. And I hope you got your packages all ordered because it's going to take a while to get here now. We're in December. Get on it. Later, guys.